Howdy folks, welcome back to Cattle and Crops. Today we're going to do a little bit of harvesting. As you can see, I've got a mod harvester here. I showed that in the last video, but it's uh, it's a bison something or other. I don't remember the model. You should probably know that. If you take a look in the uh, fleet here, it'll tell us. Bison Record Z058. 120 horsepower, grain tank 924 gallons. It's not a it's not a huge huge combine, but should do for our needs. I'm just going to harvest the little fields here around the farm, and I've got the Mercedes over there with the tipper. It's going to do this all on my own. Got a pretty basic interior. There's no gauges or anything. Uh, steering wheel turns. A little off center, but it turns. Leave. I've started up. Do I need to unfold? Not sure I need to unfold. But we'll see what happens. Parking brake off. Can we move? Come on, thing. <laughs> there we go. Turn you on. I've had a few issues with this in the past. Hanging up on the ground. We'll see how she works today. I think there's been an update. Made sure I downloaded the latest version. Uh, it's just, it's a smaller harvester, something I can afford. And we don't really need the giant harvester on these little fields here. Around the uh, home farm. All right, I don't have a speedometer, so let's pull the UI back up. A little dumping there as we drive by. And let's see if we can go, can we go seven kilometers an hour? Is that gonna work out? Oh, and I forgot to set my, uh, forgot to set my swath. There we go. Might as well sell this straw. Alright, looks like we're going to be able to harvest at that speed. Now it's just a matter of whether we can get back up the hill. That's where I've had issues with it hanging up on the header. Raise that up. For whatever reason, that seems to be a problem with some of the harvesters in the mod realm. The uh, headers. We had that trouble with the forage harvester there for a bit. It was very limited info, I believe, for the modders. A lot of trial and error at this stage of the game. Just excited that talented, passionate people are making mods for this. Oh, why lights kill the frame rate so much? Back up here, and we'll head right up the hill. There we go. Let's have some decent animations. Take a look at the outside of it. It's a good-looking old beast. See, it's got uh, stuff turning. I'm a little confused, though, because the big wheel is turning faster than the small wheel. It's not how gears work, but, you know. <laughs> it's got stuff spinning on it. Nice old motor in there. Got, uh, got a couple windows there we can see as the tank fills up. I don't know if there's any hot spots in here other than the door. We got the two door, and we got a little window there. Nice. Actually, let's just leave that down. Return. And roll downhill. That works. There we go. We had the turn at the top. So I think we just have the door. At the door? Yeah, there's the door. Oh boy. 
<laughs> Maybe we better just leave that closed. So we're up to the first one though. That's not too bad. Alright, head her up. Let's get turned back down. We'll head back downhill. We'll try to figure out the turning on this thing. Header just slams down. Always a little hard to tell how straight you're going with the perspective here in the cab. Yeah, we're just now getting up to the first window, so we should be able to go down and back, no problem. Let's keep an eye on that and we'll empty as needed. So this is field 14 and we've got 16 over there. We've got, I think that's 15 and there's 13 over, over that way. Just little fields here at the home farm. I'm going to try to get those all harvested today. They're all grain crops so we can get them with this. And I think I mentioned in the last video, I've got field three planted with corn. That's our big one. So we'll be chaffing that hopefully in the fall. Not 100% sure if it'll grow right. I did get it planted late, but I, I don't think it matters right now. I think you can plant whenever and then it takes X amount of time to grow. They are planning on seasons coming at some point. So I think it'll make a difference then. But I've been trying to plant in the spring and harvest in the fall. It just kind of got away from me on field three. So we planted a little late. Today is June 28th. We're almost into July. Chunk missing in the middle over there. We we'll go ahead and take another swath off the top here, so we got some room to turn. Damn it! There we go. Yeah, something happened there. I'm gonna blame the guy running the cedar. Probably all his fault. We're we doing grand. We're getting somewhat full, so we'll pull over the tipper here as we go by. Oh, I need to steer. A little straighter than that. Best farmer ever. I swear I shifted into reverse. Let's do this. I'm going to come down this way. Let's keep going kind of straightish. Kind of square this off a little bit. And then we'll go up by the wagon. There we go. Make sure that all gets threshed. Turn that off. You can clip through the trees, but we'll avoid that one. Pipe clips into the trailer a bit. I think the discharge speed might be a little high on this. Pipe go back in when you're done. Apparently. Clutch slipping a little bit. I'm not sure what's going on here.
I'm in automatic mode. All right. Good to know. Back on and back down. Back into the rain. What time is it? Oh, it's night. I thought I slept through the night. I was starting in the morning. Oops. I meant to do that. <laughs> oh, well. It's our own equipment. We don't have anything leased right now. So we can just quit when it gets dark and take it back up in the morning. Bulls are doing well. Oh my, it's kind of falling downhill. Now we're stuck doing something. I think the header is rubbing on the ground. So, uh, let's play around with that. We should have... We don't. We don't have a slider. Interesting. Now let's get somewhat lined up here and see if we can tell what's going on. So when I hit V, that looks normal. Use the one key. One doesn't let me lower it gradually. It's apparently all or nothing and there's no slider. All right, fair enough. What is going on here? Is it slipping? Actually, like it was slipping. It's getting almost hard to see. Lose like 10 or 15 frames switching the lights on. Uh, why did we not pick up over there? Got a problem with the ground up here? See if you can tell what's going on. Come on. No, I sifted you into reverse. There you go. Yeah, it harvested that. Oh well, it's a mod combine on an early access title. I'm not going to get too worried about it. I liked it because it was old and crusty. <laughs> Reminds me of the uh, Russian series I'm doing with Mark right now on FarmSim. Old and dirty. Brakes seem a little too stout. And we almost have to start moving and then turn. With this figured out. Not even showing in the tank yet, so we should be good to go. Alright, I like the lights, but I don't like the loss of frame rate. We'll just harvest by the setting sun. How about that? Can't wait for this game to get optimized so it runs well. I'm totally okay with these graphics if it runs well. I'm more interested in the simulation than pretty graphics. That's just my two cents. Let's just head back uphill and get some of this that we missed.
Oh, sun is down almost below the horizon. It's going to get proper dark. Might have to, to lose some FPS so I can see. What do you want, grain? I'm not even to the second window yet. Pretty sure this is the field I sprayed fertilizer on, but I don't think fertilizer is like a magic thing, like it is in farm sim. I saw that it changed some of the field stats, like phosphate and potassium or something like that. Nitrates, I forget. It made some of the bars move when I put fertilizer on it. I don't know if it has any effect right now in game. I was like, I'm going a lot faster. Oh, I am. I'm up on the second notch of cruise. That's why it felt so much faster. Because it was. Let's go dump again. And make sure to hit brakes. Oh, up. Uh, pushing the gas does not disengage crews. Just makes you go faster. We're looking over here in the tipper. Not too bad. That's a really low pipe. I need the little, uh, there's a little mod trailer. It, uh, it reminds me of the trailer that Mark has for Azil over on the uh, Russian playthrough. Uh, where is it? Oh, I may not have it turned on. I don't think I have it enabled. Nope. It looks just like Mark's trailer. It's kind of funny. All right, well, I'm going to get a little more harvesting done. Uh, the sun is going down. Did I put this? I always forget to put this on. I don't know what speed it's on if it's not on one of the speeds here, but it's fast. It's faster than real time. I like playing this in real time, and then I can just skip as needed. But it is getting dark. I'm going to at least get this field finished up. I'll probably get the other fields tomorrow. And next episode, uh, we may take a look at the cows and see how they're doing. I'm not sure if we'll be able to sell any this fall. It's summer right now. So I may end up skipping a couple months to get to fall. And we'll see what kind of field work we need to do. Maybe get some cultivating or disking done. And I was looking on the mod sites, and there is a mod cedar. So I need to check that out. Something we can afford. So with that, we might actually have all the equipment we need, not have to lease stuff. Then we can just concentrate on upgrading if we want to keep playing. So anyway, we should be able to make some money this fall with the bulls. And we'll do a little field work, some disking, cultivating, and whatnot. See if there's anything we haven't done before that we can do. We can check out. So that'll wrap it up for this one. I'm going to keep on harvesting, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for hanging out, as always. Take care.